Hello everybody, we are eight feet apart, so we are going to take our masks off for this very important conversation. My name is Patrick Robles, and I'm the Community Outreach Coordinator for the Pima County Attorney's Office. And I'm sitting down here with our Pima County Attorney, Laura Conover. Laura, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you, on this beautiful desert morning, Patrick, and I'm really glad we're having this important conversation. Absolutely. Today we're going to talk about how folks in the community can protect themselves from fraud, specifically consumer fraud. Uh, this is an issue that folks are facing all across the country and costing consumers millions of dollars every single year. Laura, what tips do you recommend to people and how they can avoid fraud? Patrick, the number one tip that we should focus on is getting to know who we're talking to. This is usually coming from a stranger, but it can be very persuasive because it's impersonation. They, they want you to believe they're calling from your bank or the IRS or Social Security, and it really looks that way. They're using a fake caller ID so it looks like it's the government, or the website they're using really does look a lot like your bank's website. So what's important is to slow it down and figure out who is actually calling you or contacting you. It usually starts with a pop-up message while you're online or an email or a phone call. In this day and age, we live in this time of COVID and people, including myself, are using the internet to communicate with folks sell and buy things. What are some tips you have to avoid internet fraud? Yes, you're so right. We are all doing so much more purchasing online and that can also mean returning items online. So a fraud we've been seeing here in Pima County is that you return something and then you unexpectedly get back more money than you were expecting. Again, press pause. If someone's asking you to send back money that was sent to you in error, it is their error. So go ahead and send back that check if it came in a check or if it was a refund online, you tell them to cancel the transfer that they sent to you. Don't involve your money. Don't send your own money back to anyone. Those are all very good reminders. Um, we've talked about internet fraud and fraud that can happen over the phone. Does this also occur in person? It does occur in person. That's another fraud we're seeing here in Pima County. Again, during COVID, there's been a huge uptick in home improvement or home repair. And so we are actually seeing people going door to door and they're offering those services. They may say something like, we're already in the neighborhood working on a project and we have extra materials. When you want to work with a contractor or a service provider, we should always, again, pause and do references. Get reference checks on their work and check the status of their license to do this kind of contracting work. We don't want people who are paying for unnecessary services or paying up front and not even getting those services at all. The other thing we have to talk about, Patrick, is social media. Absolutely. I hate to say this, but we need to be careful about new friends online, new people asking to be friends online. Social media during COVID has been a life send to be in touch with our family and friends. And it is a good way to make new friends when we're trapped at home. But again, strangers will use these kinds of friendships to build trust and confidence. And if they start asking you to send a gift or if they start talking about needing a loan, just put on the brakes. Make sure anytime a stranger is asking for money, you slow the process down. And if they become pushy or urgent with you, it's wise to unfriend them or block them. Most of the time, Patrick, this kind of fraud and scam always involves urgency, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. So, so it's pressure. You know, it's, it's the way it works is, you know, send money now. You know, there's always some kind of urgency behind it. What's important is to remember is that it's not urgent and it's never urgent. Ask as many questions as you can to figure it out. And if you, if you 
have a gut instinct, you have doubt, go with the doubt. Tell the person that you need to look into this and then pick up the phone to a family member or a friend or a neighbor about the doubt you're having with this request for, for money. The main thing, Patrick, is there is no embarrassment in this. Agreed? I agree. We, we don't want people to feel shame. Millions of people fall victim to fraud every year, including my own colleagues, friends, and even family. There is no embarrassment. Please report it. Thank you very much. All of these points are very great advice for folks in the community to know. Thank you. Everybody, if you want to learn more information about how you can avoid internet, phone, and in-person fraud, please visit the website down below pcao.pima.gov slash fraud.